Oh, man, that is some disco shit. So, welcome and thank you for showing up, should the notifications have worked at all, because YouTube is a motherfucker. So we're going to play some Kerbal, and Kerbal is what I want to play. Uh, I know Terra Invicta came out. I bought myself Terra Invicta. And it is downloading in the background, but I am going to play Kerbal for the time being. So let me uh, assemble my Kerbals. And before anyone asks what my settings on Kerbal are, they are generously uh, soft. I like to live in a make-believe world where science is funded very well for the reason of it being beneficial to mankind. And that alone. That's pretty much it. I, I like to live in that make-believe world. So that's the settings I prefer. Now, as far as physics and everything else, full send, I will accept whatever shit sandwich I make for myself. I accept my fate. Now, my Kerbal is uh, stock. It is stock Kerbal. It is very stock Kerbal. Uh, because I can break Kerbal as is. All the mods I've played with Kerbal are... Well, beneficial to a point, uh, but they are not, uh, shall we say, stable for the purposes of what I already do with rockets. So, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and use this button here. Please, God, work. Button? Yes. All right, cool. And I can bump the sound up. Now, I want to make sure that the sound is actually all right. Because if it's a bit too high, you will be deafened with my rockets. And how loud do you guys want the music? Like, is here good? Or is, like, you know. And yes, Diggs, I know, stable and Kerbal in same sentence. And me, not good. But we're going to do our best we can. Uh, yeah, so here, here we go. Uh, soon. So, just making sure, we want to make sure all of our sounds are set up, and that I haven't fucked anything. That's just what I want to do before we proceed onward, because I didn't do that last time, and that was fine. So you guys can't hear the music. Alright. Yeah, I am I am also, uh, yeah. Let's, let's just knock this up a little bit, though. Can't hear anything? Because if you can hear the music, the rest of it's louder than that. Alright. Love you too, buddy. Don't worry, I'll put a train into space. If I can. So is everyone... Is everyone... Just making sure you can hear... Uh, something. Yes. There, yes, music, good. Alright, except... Alright, let's start a game. And we'll just throw away the stuff that I used to... Uh, yeah, Beeple Corp, I used that to terrorize Colberto. Uh, discount Dan. Um... He hates my rockets. He actually knows stuff about them, and I generally don't. So, here we go, unless they're guided. Um, so, let's do, uh, let's see, Beeple, uh, Rocket Corp, uh, Limited, Incorporated, AG, uh, LLC. There, okay, all, all I got room is LL. Good, alright, so let's use science, and, yep, alright, there's our corporation name. Um, I, that's enough layers to confuse auditors. All right, and, uh, huh? All right, mm, yeah, mm. all right, so then we need to flag something that conveys our meaning to the universe. Uh, racing stripes, I think, is acceptable, and let's just go do this. Here we go. Now, my approach to this is going to be as non-scientific as possible. Um, I, thank you, shut up. What I'm going to do is just Kentucky windage to the moon, as is my way, because I'm well aware there are many people out there who have amazing Let's Plays, amazing, amazing Let's Plays of Kerbal, and they are very talented engineers, and yes, by copying their methods, I too could become a steely-eyed missile man. Um, I find that all very boring, and I can't pay attention to it. And so my brain just makes fart noises uh, whenever I try. So then I build what I want and achieve just what the experts did, but in far, far less efficient ways. Just by muscling my way through it and guessing. 
That's more entertainment to me than eons of rocketry research. So this is going to be that kind of let's play. So if any of you out there are real rocket enthusiasts, please forgive me. Because, yeah, Connor, this is basically going to be a let's play of math bad. That is what's going to happen. So we need to build a rocket. And step one is to build a rocket that will go up and come down with a guy still alive. Now, that is a tall order, and I put science wings on it that are full of science as a parachute. Now, this is just the test, the test one, right? So this is test zero one. This isn't even, this isn't even a rocket. It's, it's not even a rocket, okay? Just, just pl don't worry. It, it's just gonna happen. Everything's gonna be fine. So look, nothing bad can happen here. This is, well, actually, there was that one Apollo. Anyways, let's open that goo and just open that one and get that. And then we're going to do a crew report. Now, some will say this is cheating, but you actually do need to test this stuff. So we're, we're going to get an EVA report. Good. Excellent. Let's get a soil sample. Uh, now, it's not cheating. This is normal. We're just going to get a uh, surface sample here. It looks like it's made out of launch pad. And then we're going to get right back in the rocket. And then we're going to board the rocket, and we're going to recover it. And congratulations. It's, it's, congratulations. We've done our job. Good job. We, we now have enough science to send Jebediah into actual peril. <laughs> oh, poor Jebediah. I love how that trumpet came in just then, like it was going to start playing for his funeral, like it knows what's up. Here we go. Okay. Test two. That was my back. Yeah, fuck. All right. So test two. Uh, test two is going to be an upgo. Uh, we are going to attempt an upgo of some altitude. Now I'm meaning like some. Okay. Not a lot. Just some. We're going to upgo some, and we're going to read temperatures as we go up. This is off center. Yeah. Who cares? It's not important. So let's just go ahead and launch that. All right. So again, I think a lot of shit's overrated in rockets. People are like, you need to balance things and it needs to be the same on all sides. And I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. Not if you have yes in your heart. However, you do need to remember staging. This is going to be the chain of this Let's Play series. All right. Yeah. Try to cack out on me now, you son of a bitch. Rockets need to be symmetrical. False. All right, she's taking a bit into the wind, but this this is working more than it should, and people are screaming already. Oh, we're going fast now, boys. That's apocalyptic. Okay, so you know, I wow. Uh, holy shit, are we up going? This is amazing. How many drinky poos will Captain Jim Lee have before launch techs? I just one little drinky poo. Well, let's let's observe this last one actually in space. He's docile as shit because that ketamine patch is hitting him right now. So we're just gonna go on. Uh, don't worry about it flying sideways. It's flying at all. We should really be applying, you know, just endless applause. Listen to that. We're in space. Don't worry about it. What a handsome boy. All right, now here's the problem. Uh, we're going to have to come in and uh, land, uh, and the velocity is a bit much. So we're going to burn a bit on the other end. Now, thank God that that's a rocket fuel tank and, you know, not something important. So, okay, we're just going to have a little burn off here, boys. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a tumble here, boys. We're going to have a problem. Okay, I just burned the shoot off. Okay, so we're going to have our first victim here in Jebediah Kerman, right? And we just admitted this is going to happen. So, Jeb, goodbye, sir. I accidentally hit the space bar. And that's what you get. <laughs> Anyways, we need to get a better rocket. So, uh, yeah. 
There's one. That's good. Uh, I guess we have to revert flight to... <laughs> you know what? I should probably put a point in there. So, I, even if I revert, don't worry. You're still gonna have to uh, count that one. So let's get a Kerbal count if we can. Let's just get the uh, Kerbal count. Now, some would say the issue of the rocket is that it wasn't symmetrical, and I'm like, that's a lie. Uh, that's that's a lie. That's a complete lie. The issue is I didn't have enough separators, and I think that the secret is to karate things out into space really, really awesome-like, and, and then people are like, holy shit, that's an awesome rocket. Because if your rocket doesn't look good for the general public, they won't fund it. They no, nobody's gonna fund your bitchin' rocket if it doesn't do cool shit. It's gotta do cool shit. And that's what this rocket does. Look at this thing. This thing is rad. Like, if I was in charge of the space program, I'd be like, draw whatever the fuck you want on that page, but if unless it's badass, don't make it. Yeah, this, this one's gonna be called the Snack. All right, let's launch. No, there's that need for that many stages. This is a stage test rocket. It 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 tests the stages. Now look, we're going to do a contrast. This is Kerbal Science. We're going to test the temperature on the ground. Uh-huh. And then we're going to overwrite the mystery goo and we're going to we're going to test the temperature of that and then we're going to test it in space and see how it's different. Doesn't that sound dumb? Anyways, here we go. Space stuff. Now, don't mind the rocket did a wobble. That's normal oh and don't worry I'll get some flames on the front of the rocket just give it a second oh she's fighting it ah oh, there you go there's your flames oh man holy shit Oh. Oh, man. That's some up-go, huh? <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, check the temperature up here. Probably pretty cold. Alright, so we need to separate this rocket. Stand by for rocket kung fu and that badass thing I was talking about. Step one. Rotate butt to space, right? And then step two is you're like... Eh. And then you're like, I kung fu you away, right? So you're like, get out of here. Go, to go. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. See? Handle. Handled. And see, that's, that's, you know, you know that's, that's how you do space stuff. Now, some people don't think that that's how they do space stuff, but look, those rings are flying away and the, the thing's leaving. So, uh, I think that's how you do space stuff. You shoot one last one out there just because it looks cool. I mean, you know. And then, and then you just wait, you know? Then you wait, wait to go back down. Easy. All you gotta do is just salad shooter that shit off into space and then that's somebody else's problem. Or it'll come back and it's really, really fucking cool. And people will be like, hey, that rocket they punched up there like a billion years ago is, is coming back in 80 pieces and you'd be like, fucking rad, you know? I love that we also <laughs> so briefly went through space that it played the music for about 12 seconds. It's like a theme song skipping with a single frame, like for a movie. Just like, <laughs> we only made it that far. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Whoa. All right. That's a little rough. Alright, so it's a bit of a steep approach, but as you can see, the landing is good. Thanks to my, uh, breaking kung fu maneuver, there was no need whatsoever to do any advanced maneuvering, and I can walk home. That's a good day's work in space. Yep. I don't know what that was, but that's none of my business, and I won't look around to address it. I... I, those distant explosions are not something I'm going to address either. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about hypersonic things coming in from space because that's none of my issue. I'm just going to recover the vessel and leave. Uh, and yeah, just um, 
Not gonna worry about that, or any of the craters or anything uh, elsewhere on the planet in the background. Just not not important. Uh, we're gonna put that up here. Yeah, we need we need bigger rockets. <laughs> You know, I you could you could do all sorts of thing with rockets. You can always up go. Uh, <laughs> so you know, snack snack pretty good rocket. So we're gonna do with uh, an advancement. We're gonna go snack two. Kind of important. Kind of important snack two. Uh, snack two is just like snack one, but an irresponsibly large rocket now. And we're just gonna put the thrust limiter to like thirty five and see if we go forever. Um, and then I, I should probably put, like, something fun in the middle that I can kick off and turn around on. Like, one of these little Scooty Puff Jr. engines or something. So, you know, we got Dean, ba ba ba, and then some of these. Good enough, and enough staging to make an engineer cry. Snack 2 is complete. Aw, oh, hell yeah. I don't even know how this is going to work. I don't even know if it has enough thrust to go up. I'm not going to measure a goddamn thing. Now, the first rocket wasn't even symmetrical, so... <laughs> Welcome to Kentucky Windage. So we're just going to put the throttle to... It doesn't matter, it's solid rocket. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Revert flight back to the back to assembly. We, we didn't dial that up enough. All right, what do you guys think? I know a number. I know a number that's very cool. That's the correct number. Let's let's do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. That's a cooler number. And uh, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna use four and twenty of them. <laughs> I'm going to make this work. Memes. Oh no, it works. Don't have to commit further travesties today. The night is young. All right, here we go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Alright, yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. We're going up. This is like an elevator. It's just like, bing! Bing! Just going up. It's not that fast as a rocket. No, I'm not hitting it because this is a solid booster. That throttle don't do shit. See? No effect. Same rate of increase. We're on solid. Now up here is where we get to liquid. And that's where shit gets real. Why is this rocket working so far? That's a good question. Alright, stand by for karate maneuver. Our patented karate maneuver. Um... It appears that we're having some problems with the gyros. The gyros can't overcome the weight of the dongle. Stand by for detachment of dongle. Dongle is detached. Stand by for uh, turning right. Yeah, that's one of those. And then there's that one. And then, uh, yep. All right, and we're turning right. All right, right turn achieved. Stand by for kickoff of sad engine. Sad engine detached. Stand by for kung fu of sad engine adjusting trajectory. Get out of here. You disappoint me. Never come back. Thank you. All right, my job is done. This rocket has achieved approximately 12 feet of uh, rocketry. Ah, uh, but science. Mmm. 2.1 science, mother of Christ. I will be in heaven shortly. All right, so let's get up here to our altitude of approximately eight seconds. And uh, it says we're just in the upper atmosphere now. It doesn't even fucking care. It, it's like, this isn't even science. Why did you come up here? Fine, fine. I'll just log the temperature in who cares a stan and leave. I'll reset the experiment, because they don't care about my space stuff anymore, and this is very sad space stuff. Oh, Jeb will be coming down shortly. Gravity is a monster. And here it comes. Look at him having so much fun. He has no idea what's going on. He is just laughing up a storm. Storm, look at him in there. Reality's about to hit about, well, 
fairly quickly. That whistling can't be too quiet. All right, let's uh, punch that out before it's too late. Sorry there, Jeb. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some ocean science. And let's come on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll log that tent when we get down there on the water. We'll figure out how wet the water is, and uh, that'll make, uh, you know, Jeb all happy. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he seems just kind of there. All right, so we're just going to come on down. We're doing some very baby little basic rockets. No real major science today. Let's uh, recover. Oh, wait. No, we need to do some... Uh, yeah, there we go. If he opened the door, he could figure out, like, you know, some science on what it's like to drown. And that's, that's useful to a point. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get... Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's some, that's some, that's some worse science shit. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah, we're gonna need some of that too. All right, now we're gonna get. Now we're playing with stupid. All right, here we go. Snack two. Now, Snack two was an okay rocket series, uh, but you know, boring. We need more. We need a lot more. Where's my science cabinet? I hate, I, I, I need it. Ah, there we are. The science cabinet. They call it the service bay, but it's the science cabinet. And it's where you keep your science when you're on a rocket. Keep your science in the science cabinet. If your rocket doesn't have a science cabinet, it was designed by squares. So we're just gonna put a, there we go. My science goes in the science cabinet. See? I have a science cabinet now. For all my science. Alright, we're gonna put that fuck right there. Now we're gonna put another one of those because I don't know what I'm doing. And one more for good measure. So, I'm just gonna add the one. Yeah, there we go. It's a rocket. That's the company press release for this. It's a rocket. That's it. That's all it says. It, it's a rocket. It goes up. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of stages on this one. Oh, boy, are people going to get mad. I can't even read chat because I'm just going to start laughing. People are going to go, but Tex, why? And I'll say, rocket engine subsidy. So here we go. We're gonna just make a big old pile of rockets that goes up and falls all over everywhere so people can become collectors of the rocket program. How exciting, huh? Think about it, you could have your own space parts. Well, like, some. <laughs> Depends on what stage you get, right? Oh yeah, that reminds me. All right, so we're gonna put some uh, more parachutes up here because I'm a fucking idiot. Just in case. More fins, Mike? No worries. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. What we need to do first is we need to create a really good system to attach a bunch of rockets to the bottom of this. Because all the weight has to be somewhere, something, something, don't worry. Now, the next step is people would try to just put the rockets here, which is too dumb, because that's not cool. But we'll get there. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're just gonna take these. And, okay, okay. I just need a little bit more space. It's okay, though. Because, hold on, I'm gonna eyeball these on. I, I have to kind of eyeball these girders here. This is not what they're for. But this is, oh yeah, I hope these are center. All right, good enough. Now the next part is even worse because there's no real way to center these easy. So I'm just gonna eyeball this. Now, since this is a rocket, 
don't ever do this, but here we go. All right, let's <laughs> let's try to line this up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we're going to add the rockets to these. Now, those appear to be slightly cattywampus, but I am not willing to correct it at this stage. And I know any minute I'm going to hear Mike start laughing next door when I start applying the next step. One moment. I need to find those cones so these lawn darts come down in the right place. Um, so, wink fins. There we go. Alright, so we're going to need some fins. Because, are those even lined up? Okay, mostly. Well, yeah, alright, we're getting there. So far, so good. More fins. Uh-huh, more fins. Alright, there we go. All right, and we're gonna put some down there. Just, oh man, this thing, look at all the serrated edges. It will cut through the air. This is a mighty, mighty rocket. All right, so people are gonna be like, what the fuck? And I'm gonna say mighty rocket. So we have so many fins. Like, yeah, okay. Now I need to find the space tape, which I haven't unlocked yet. So, <laughs> All right, um, let's set this to 69 and hope this doesn't just explode in 800 directions like a fireworks factory. Holy shit. All right, uh, I name your child Snack 3. All right, here we go. All right, if you know any prayers or have any power with major or minor deities, please cast your dice now. Um, don't worry about it. Okay, so it has a little bit of give, and obviously things are not exactly lined up. That's not a problem in rockets, surely. Uh, let's just go ahead and apply the throttle. Okay, so far, we have a spin. Because the rockets are off-center, as you know. Um, and, oh Christ. Okay, so, we are having some problems with the, uh, with the rocket. Now... It appears, Mike, that the fins didn't work, you know? It, it appears that your fins didn't work at all, Mike. Mike, the fins. Why, why? Okay, let's pull up. All right, Kerbal count is two. Kerbal count is two. Kerbal count is two. So I know what my problem is here. It's not enough stages. So what we need to do is we need to make sure the rocket is going up at such a terrifying velocity that it can't even think of going anywhere else, right? Right? That's that's the idea, is you need to make the rocket. It's like if you have a dog that's scared all the time, if, if it has something to concentrate or bark at, it's not so bad. So what we need to do is just bolt a bunch of these rockets to rockets to increase up-go to incredible up-go, right? Just an incredible amount of up-go and we'll just hope they paint these together well. Don't worry about it. And we'll just up. And I think this will work just fine, okay? Let's just, let's see. Uh, we need to make sure they're all the same thing, otherwise this will get awkward. All right, uh, yeah. Eh, there we go. Uh -huh. And then uh, there. And yeah, you got to make sure they're actually uh, with the same thrust limit or otherwise uh, that gets fun. So now more fins. More fins. All I could hear was Mike laughing next door as this thing careened into shit. So. All right. We just need to. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, snack 4.1. Why are we mixing numerals? I don't know. Let's do it. See, I'm not going to measure anything. People are going to go, where's your center of gravity? I don't know. Seven. All uh, right. So a little bit of flex. Obviously still not straight here, but well, whatever. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure they all go at the same time. That would also assist this rocket. See, that's what it needed. No, no, no. That is not what it needed. All right. Stand by. All right, I'm gonna cut those loose. Stand by. I'm gonna rapidly go through my stages. 
All right. Excellent. Oh my sweet Jesus, look at those things. Oh, that's majestic. That is amazing. Holy sweet Jesus, this thing's coming around. Look at that. Uh, oh, 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 it's turning. That is amazing. That almost killed everyone. Now it's going to the moon, unlike us, with its brothers. Excellent, well done. Well, wow. You know, it's, 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 it's what it's about. It's what it's about. You can hear Mike laughing next door, so. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna log the temperature and uh, log the pressure data. And I'm just gonna log the uh, crew report over here. And we're gonna say like, uh, mission accomplished. We figured out what's on the lawn. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's having a time. It, it just, you know, it's having a time. It, don't worry about it. Hey, we made science. See, there's a lot of approaches to science. You may or may not know. Uh, don't worry about the litter on the lawn. That's just gonna be there. I'm not cleaning that up. So, all right, Snake. Snake was not a great rocket, obviously, so we gotta throw that away. I, I think the issue was, uh, what we did was we built two, we built two, uh, we built two foolishly. That is a, that is a mistake of rocket goers, uh, worldwide. If you go ask the uh, rocketry experts, you know, out there, who are who are big into rocket stuff, they'll tell you that you know, accidentally like eating your car keys is is up there among ways to die as a rocket guy. It's it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard being a rocket guy. Accidents happen all the time. So that an occasional rocket just you know does the uh, technical equivalent of whatever a juicero juicer is. Um, you have to forgive me. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make something different. We're gonna abandon that idea and we're gonna throw that there. We're gonna put that there. Huzzah, all right? And then we're gonna do some shit. And uh, yeah, don't worry about it. You, you thought that Tall Rocket was dumb. Okay. What if I told you there were other rockets, other ideas of mine that I've not yet shown you? What about Wide Rocket? Now, I, I understand that some people will be off-put by the notion of a rocket that is indeed thick, uh, but this one will be. So what we have to do is while the smooth jazz kicks in to distract us from the uh, horrible things we're about to do to these Kerbals, that's what I always thought, like, give me a walk-in jazz tune to blow someone up with a Hydrazine. Yeah, that's some smooth jazz. So what we're gonna do is uh, remember. There we go. Um, oh, you'll fit, you son of a bitch! Don't pretend like you won't. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make people mad by continuing this principle or process of rocket thickening which eh, eh. not the smartest thing I've ever done engineering wise yeah that's gonna send me straight to hell but uh oh wouldn't want to make it off center right I'm just lining it up with seams uh, generally speaking what a nice all right uh-huh Give me some walking jazz. Yeah, man, I love that xylophone jazz. I love going to that jazz club and hearing that guy with a xylophone. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put nose cones on shit. Part of the uh, D cups for defense initiative, I guess. That's what they called it. They had to change its name to something else later, of course. It was the 60s. Alright, so that's lined up kinda, and uh, we're gonna call this Wide Boy 1, and Wide Boy 1 is gonna go up as fuck. Alright, so here we are gonna do Wide Boy 1, and we're gonna just slowly peel these off. 
in complete defiance of good taste. Now, the only question is how many of these do I have to use at once to overcome the sin that I have made that will sit on the launch pad right now? So, I've made a Mandela that flies, <laughs> but like Mandela's, this can be beautiful. Let's do this. Let's just go ahead and give it some beans. Let's give it all of it. All right, there we go. So, you know, people are like, that won't fly, tax. Oh, where's your god now? Embrace your sign. Oh, hold on. I gotta. Yeah, all right. Back to gloating. Listen, this thing flies as good as my brain works, which is 70% of the time, all the time. Wide rocket is fine. Now I gotta remember to like switch reels here every time it kicks off, because it's like a garand. All right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, here we go, just gonna go on up. It's a good rocket. It's a very good rocket. Now there's a lot of banging down there at the launch pad, but don't worry about it. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, you gotta get it in the gear. All right, let's turn right. Oh, kill that engine while we got a bit of a wobble. Because <laughs> we're coming up like the bat out of hell. But yeah, it, it drives like a truck. You're just like, oh, <laughs> just coming up between the uh, gears. And uh, it, it's a little unstable at that last bit when I tried to whip it around. Uh, but give it a moment as I throw this into a good direction. Uh, uh, give it a second as it tries to actually find where it's going. Come on. Turn around. Alright, yep. Okay, there we go. Get out of here. So, what I do is, in this really weird rocket... Uh, I've managed to go a little bit higher than I've ever gone. So now, with the last little bit of fuel, I'm gonna just goose it. All that shit is gonna go fuck off in space somewhere else. As I gently coax a little more speed out of this. Because I swear to Christ, if this continues to work, I will make the biggest, widest rocket I can. All right, so this is a pretty successful rocket. Wide boy, I think this might give us some more ideas. It's a good rocket. So this is the furthest rocket we've made yet, and now we get to hear the music. All right, fuck off, there you go. All right, now that that's gonna go fuck off, we're just gonna retrograde here, flip this bitch around, and then uh, wait until we're in the high part of the orbit, and we're gonna hang out with our friends. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out. Hang out in space. Alright, let's just go ahead and log that temperature. Let's go ahead and log that pressure data. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna get a crew report. Uh huh. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ride the bomb. I mean, the thing. We're gonna do some space. Okay, which is, remove helmet? No, EVA report, that's the one. All right, there we go. I've, I tried that about 10 times before I figured out which one was which. And then I kept doing it. I wanted to see what I could learn, you know? Is a man not entitled to science? Uh, but all I learned was the rocket loses control. So what we're going to do is we're going to just come on here and we're going to hit that giant fucking blast shield I put on the bottom of this fuck because I know my sins. I made it a yard thick for a reason. And here we go. I'm going to let these bitches just take it off and slow down. Just throw it into lower gears. Oh, I caused everything to have a seizure. Don't worry. This is going to be a fine rocket. Yeah, this is our first EVA. It's not bad. Do you think he's trying to escape? Like, Kerbalistan is so fucking bad that he signed up for this shit to get out. Like, he's hoping that he ditches in the water and can blow up that boat and then, like, get away. Do you think that's his backstory? Like, 
he's he's the victim of this thing because the other stories I've heard about Kerbal don't make me happy. Like, there's a bunch of dead cities around the planet implying the people with the rockets are somewhat involved or know something about what's up. And the dead cities are probably on the receiving end of that exchange. So, you know, Wide Boy 1, solid template of a rocket. Uh, only lost a little bit of velocity because I had to shift, uh, as you know. Um, which it is regrettable. It's very regrettable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build... Uh, I, I only need that. I, no, not that. That. See that stride connector? That is the magic. Now, disregard all the pieces to Wide Boy and shit. Because we don't have time. Alright? We don't have time for that. We just don't. So, uh, Wide Boy is pretty good rocket. Now, I like the idea of the rocket Wide Boy as designed. Um, I think it could be better. I think a, a expansion of Wide Boy is probably due. I just don't know in what form I would. However, Space Tape is one of the greatest things in this game. And, and you need to have a lot of it. That just fuck off. There. There, leave. It's almost the best thing in the whole game. So what we do is we're just gonna tape this up a little bit. As you can see, the tape holds the rocket together. And it doesn't even have to be straight. Fuck physics, you have tape. Remember that. Fuck physics, you have tape. Don't let anybody bully you into thinking you can't build a rocket. If you can drive a ricket, or get a ricket, yeah. Yeah, if you got rickets, you can build a rocket. No, if, if you can drive a rivet, you can, you can build a rocket. You can do whatever you want. Look at that. That looks unholy. I bet you it'll fly though. Physics is dumb. Let's just build ourselves an even bigger one. You know what? Fins are dumb. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, guess what? Wide Boy 2. Son of Wide Boy. Yeah, now we have another rocket. Look at this. Holy shit. We're innovating. The jazz came on. Alright, let's put that there. Yeah, that's not even... Who cares? Alright. So I know this is probably not smart, but... What if it's cool? Right? What if it's cool? That's the very critical question. Alright. Now, I know a lot of people know a lot of things about rockets. And they're very mad right now. Good. Alright, now that's looking fairly rocketish. That's looking fairly rocketish. Alright, 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 alright. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's rocketish. That looks right. Can't tell me I'm wrong. Can't tell me this isn't a rocket. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you constrain my art form? Alright, so what we're gonna do... I'm going to send this to space and see if my computer can last. Now, I'm going to say this. If you hear a bang and this stream ends, you will know my computer died making this happen. I just, you know, eh, meh. Just letting you know. That's where this is going. So, ooh, that looks a little suspect. Alrighty. Let's, okay. Uh, before I hit go... Does anyone want to take odds, like, 
Odds to space, not not odds to lift off. I'm sure it'll go somewhere, but odds to space. What do you think? You know, I mean, just in general. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's it's an all right ship. Let's let's take some let's take some odds, and then I'm just gonna hit the go and uh, fuck it. Here we go and. Holy sweet Jesus, that was awesome. All right, and wow. Also, I realized this thing is cockeyed. Um, don't worry about it. We're having some rotation. I guess that's normal for space station. Um, you can probably see this thing from fucking orbit. Holy sh- wow. Like, <laughs> that looks badass. That looks metal as fuck. Alright, so, here we go. Flying scaffold. Here we go to space, boys! Alright, uh, we have rotation of space- I mean, it's spacecraft. Uh, stand by for, uh, leaving and throttle up of Mack truck drive. Alright, those guys can leave. That was safe. Alright, that can get out of here. And, uh, yeah. Alright, and then here we go. Stand by, adjusting orbit. So the secret is tape, you know? It's, uh... Now, oh! Alright, get out of here. There we go. You just gotta drive it like a Mack truck, you know? Just keep shifting them gears. Yeah. He's gonna drive my truck to space now. Oh. There we go. He's gonna turn a little bit there. He's gonna turn right now and go to space. Yeah, see, it's easy. All you gotta do is just keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh, man, you can really see this thing climbing. Fuck, it's fast. All right, so don't worry about it. What an orbit. This is unsafe. Alright, so I think this is our new high point, and I'll just have to learn to tap the brakes before I come in. Wow, we really did this. We really just went up. Alright. So we're up here. Let me uh, just send these fuckers home. Cause fuck them. All right, that separated. Uh huh. All right, yeah, that's good. Don't worry about it. So there goes that guy. Okay, I'm gonna observe some mystery goo. Cause we got the high space science now. That's worth a lot. High space science is worth a lot of money. All right, let's do an EVA report. Oh, I can't because all those bolts are holding things closed. Don't worry about that. So we're just going to retrograde here with our last burner. And we're going to do a suicide burn in, uh, which may work or may not. I, I only know what they are in textbook. And then I've seen other things take them. But uh, if I time this right, I should be able to land on Kerbal headquarters, which would be pretty sweet. All right. All right, so we're coming down pretty hard here, which is not great. We need to turn this rocket a bit. Now, 1,600 meters a second is pretty swift and fairly lethal, so let's go ahead and till that, uh, no. Let's, let's shave a few hundred meters a second off this fuck. See, we're just gonna burn some of our sweet, sweet jet juice. All right, now there's a problem. As soon as that hits the atmosphere, that's gonna change direction. It's, <laughs> you're gonna watch it change direction, it's gonna get scary. Cause it's just gonna be like, uh-oh. And, and it's, it's uh, very pointy now. And it's in my path where I'm going. So here we go. We're just gonna be really cool and hope that Mr. Engine Part doesn't decide to uh, suddenly have enhanced drag and come right at me. So now we're just gonna wait 
very calmly on re-entry as Mr. Injun decides to find out how soupy the atmosphere is today for us on his engine adventures into uh, smash into ground and scare people land. Um, and there's the launch pad right over there. Accidentally pretty cool parking close to work, you know. I mean, that's nice, ain't it? Now look at Jeb laughing. He's laughing because he hasn't seen the engine in a bit. He doesn't know where it is, but I do. And I'm afraid it's probably in the flight path because it's tumbling and if it presents a bigger surface area and it slows down faster uh, than my uh, approach, it may prove to be what's called a barrier. And ballistically, that's unfortunate as the, as the term goes. It's, it's not very good. It's uh, subpar. Jeb's having the time of his life because he found the happy pills. One of those drawers back there is just full of ketamine. He's just like, well, fuck this. Oh yeah, that's getting rowdy. Okay, looks like Mr. Engine is not braking very well, which is fine. Uh, Mr. Engine, yo, oh, shit. All right, so you see what I mean? Like, that was close. That wasn't like, like, haha, -ha, that you saw that fly by. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a, that was a scared moment. Oh, all right. Oof. That was a moment. It just zip right by me and I'm like, shit. Oh, man. Science is hard, huh? You gotta get your dump truck to space to scoop the science up. And bring it back so you can make hats out of it. So, uh, so far, uh, yeah, no, that's, yeah. I, I, I think, I think we've got some good plans here. Now, disregard again the debris on the lawn. That's not important. I can get bigger fuel tanks, which means I can make a bigger wide boy. I don't care about any of the science stuff anymore. I have all the parts I need to make this game horrible. All right, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Nope. All right, so, wide boy, okay. It's appropriate. I will do honor to his work. All right, so I got that. I'll just throw that away in the garbage where it belongs. Uh, bigger fuel tank, see? That's what we're gonna be doing. That's what's up. All right. Thank you, Mr. Train. Thank you, thank you, as always, thank you. All right, so we're gonna put the tiny, tiny little engine last, because it'll be funny. You know what I mean? It'll be funny. Don't worry. All right, there we go. We're just gonna make a series of, you know what, no. I don't need scaffolding for this, what am I thinking? I'll just use fuel tanks themselves. Yeah, it's fine. All right, good enough. All right, we're gonna use these little rockets here. People don't know why. They will, they will. I have a plan. It's not a great plan, I'm not a great man, but I know a thing or two about a thing or two. And I'm going to make this bitch go up. And I'm going to make it go up. That's that's all I plan. That's that's what it says on the mission patch. Like it doesn't say like through adversity to friendship. It says like I'm gonna make this bitch go up. Signed mission director Jimmy. 
and he just looks like a human cigarette. All right, so I, I'm going to make these fold down a little bit over time. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to do a mix of engines on the way out. I don't care if some are different, whatever. It's it's healthy to diversify your engines. You can't put all your engines in one basket. You, you got to have different engines. You got to use this one or that one. Can't show favorites, you know? You got to have different engines. That looks good. So we're just going to have a mix of engines, a whole mess of engines. It's just going to be a big old mess of engines. Don't worry about it. So I'm just going to bolt another engine to the side of this engine. And we're going to add more engines. And I think that what will be great is we're going to find out that if all these engines together produce enough thrust, uh, if the computer will die. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and add another engine here for the engines. Now, what we need is another set of engines for the engines. And, uh, you know, we got to alternate these again. Uh, but, yeah, so this is... This is a pretty cool rocket. And yeah, I saw the new B-52 bits. That's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, there. And uh, we're going to add, uh, yeah, yeah, some of those there. Uh-huh. All right. Now, here's what I need to do is I need to tape this all together. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, got to get some of this. Got to get some of that. I'm going to tape this to this and this to that. And then uh, we're going to tape this to this and this to that. And we're going to tape this to this and this to that. And we're going to tape this one to that one. That one's different. Yeah, no, I'm not. It's going to be like the spokes of a bike. You could put baseball cards in it as it goes round and round. Think about how cool that would be. It'd sound like a motorcycle. Which is weird because it's a fucking rocket. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna build all of this. Hey, hey uh, some of those. And uh, before anyone asks, yes, I do have autism, so I'll beat you there. Let's go ahead and put this here, and I'll put that there, and uh, I'll put this one here. And uh, you know what? We'll just skip one for fun. That'll be a fun little fun little guy right there fun little guy just a fun little guy it's a little different you know it's like it's like the happy painting man said he was like gotta be a little different sometimes oh cool firework launchers fuck yeah oh man these are great this is gonna be fantastic we're gonna put firework launchers all over this rocket so people know that this rocket is great gonna be cool all right I don't know when these go off but whatever yeah it's like text what triggers the explosives you put on this thing I don't care I hope it blows up anyways what a happy rocket huh why Tom happy rocket now I need to put a little thing over here to hold those together I needed this one to that. Hold that together, and then I need one of these over here. All right. That's a rocket right there. Okay. Why Tom? Why Tom? Lasagna hands to the mun. Here we go. And don't worry about being a party pooper. We're all here because we want to see the same thing. We want to watch the frame rates die as that which was once a rocket rapidly becomes a series of assorted ballistic projectiles. Now, the secret is, is I just got to kick some of these rockets on, you know, some at a time. And, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. Oh, the fireworks caused an explosion. That's not cool. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty fucking cool. All right, now, okay, the fireworks, not a great idea. Got it. All right, so let's revert to launch. It just blew up parts of the rocket. But let's say that is a great rocket. First of all, let's let's applaud the guys who made the fireworks on the rocket. That is sweet. That is sweet as shit. That is a great, that is a great rocket. But we're going to have less fireworks now because of the dead people. 
That always makes things a little upsetting when your parade actually kills people. We were trying to have fun, you know? It told us we're not allowed to have fun anymore. It just blew up on the pad. But, you know, I was trying to be patriotic and just the rocket exploded. It just happens now and then. Why did it all explode? I don't know. That's kind of disappointing, too. I was hoping for, like, a bang pop and then, like, an apocalyptic, like, earth-shattering thing. However, I, if that's how they behave, I have some ideas now. So what we're going to do is we're going to try both of these outboards at the same time. I think most of them. I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Up go. All right, White Tom. Here we go. Oh, man. That's cooking some geese today. Okay, some of the rockets are using engine fuel at different times. Some are more efficient. Interesting study. All right, stand by. All right, away, away, stand by. Let's go ahead and, uh-oh. Looks like we're losing some ground. Got to kick on another set. There we go. Kick the turbo on. Kick that turbo on. All right, stand by. I'm going to kick these off in the middle of them burning. This is going to be awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. It's dumb. Eh. There you go. All right, I'm going to kick the next stage on while these are burning. And I'm going to kick these on when they're done. Hold on. Here we go. Double clutching. Tell me that isn't cool. All right. Now we have an uncontrollable spin. Well done, boys. Stand by for shutdown and yeet. Yeet achieved. Thank you. Stand by for stabilization. What? You're not allowed to half stage rockets? I thought that was cool. All right. So what we need to do is need to turn right in space. Wow. That's a lot of bang boom. So we're just gonna leave. That sounds like too much work for me. We're just gonna go up for a bit, I think. We're gonna stabilize, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this thing just like spinning because I didn't measure shit right. But, you know, that happens. Why Tom's a good rocket? Even if it don't go far. Alright, so all I need to do is just change direction and maybe go find out where Santa Claus lives. Shouldn't be hard. Northish. Let's just go there. Probably some candy cane stuff we can bring back. Now it's time to ballistic missile Santa Claus. So. Let's just go pay old fat man a visit with our Kerbal ICBM. It's got to turn north. Let him know that merriment is on the way. As you can see, this is the boost phase. See, the idea is we're going to go visit Santa, and if Santa doesn't have good news for this year, I'm afraid it's time to, well, sort Santa out. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going to the North Pole, boys.
And right about there. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to get this back for everybody who didn't get their easy bake ovens and huffy bikes and everything else they wanted. We're, we're going to go visit Santa here. Yep. Mr. Claus should learn. Well, here we go. Time to take care of old Saney. I'm just telling them, man. I'm tired of all them gifts that we didn't get. Tired of all them empty promises of if we were good, everything would work out. I don't know about the rest of you, but you don't sound like this or everything went to plan. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down there and break some kneecaps. Here we go. I'm just going to... I'm just going to go sort this guy out. <laughs> And you can hit that like button if you like, but you don't gotta. It'd be pretty neat, though. So while those go down and uh, salt Mr. Claus and let him know in a really cool impact pattern that I'm fucking serious, I'm gonna just wind this back and be cool. You see? Elon Musk ain't the only guy who can do this kind of stuff. All you gotta do is have a gyro. And then, like, be willing to accept lots and lots of casualties, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so you, it, he, he's got a smarter method, I'll say. <laughs> Go to Santa's workshop. Find Games Workshop logo. Scrim. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if we can, if we can do this. But, yeah. All right, so we got it down to, uh, yep, 280, 270, 260, 250, 240, 230, 220, 210, 200, 190, 180. Yep, we're coming on down. All we got to do is sit here and be cool. Yeah, all we gotta do is back this rocket on down. No big deal. It's gotta come on down. I'll just start throttling that down. Yeah. Good old San... Good old Santa Claus. He about to get a visit. No, nope, there's the uh, re-entry friends doing what they do. This is fine. Uh oh, out. Da da, That thing's gonna explode. And wait for it. You'll see a wily e. coyote right there. Where is it? Dang. All right, so welcome to uh, welcome to the North Pole. No Santa Claus. I'm sorry, but no Santa Claus. Not one. And uh, Keegan, it would be kind of hard to make a dropship because. You can make stuff with cargo bays, but this is more of limited to terrestrial things. Like space programs that existed. Here we go, we're gonna land now. Right there. Hey, oh, oh, mm, good. And we're gonna open this drop bay, and we're gonna open the goo. And we're gonna say, ooh, on the North Pole it's slightly different. Yeah, slightly different goo. Thank you, Mr. Train. We're going to get a crew report, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to do an EVA. Yeah. And guess what? 
We're going to do an EVA report on uh, up here. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to just go ahead and uh, we're going to we're going to take a surface sample and we're going to do an EVA report and we're going to plant a flag because, you know, and we're just going to put this here and uh, yeah, and uh, we're just going to be um, <coughs> I see no Santa up here and then uh, <clears throat> Jebediah Kerman non Santa believer 2022 all right see there got it now we've made a moment in history and uh, yeah good enough I can't get back in but uh oh almost almost right he almost got it this needs a minute and oh, oh I'm gonna have to mash that button right at the right second let's see there you go almost trying to grab that door There you go. Good. I don't think a real astronaut could actually jump that high in a spacesuit. Yeah, you know, but uh, the snow was white, but there was no Santa. Poor, poor guy. So what we're going to do is, uh, yeah. We're going to have some good times. Got to get that science, man. Got to get that sweet, sweet science. Now, I can unlock aviation parts, which is its own horrible thing, which just causes people lots and lots of uh, upset feelings. So we'll be doing that soon. Um, but what I also have to do is, is start thinking about how to get more science out of the space we have and uh, hail Cargonia. So, yeah, that's what we need to do is just up go with our science rockets and find new friends in the process, some of which will be ballistically struck by rocket parts. Now, I'm going to try something new for Wide Tom 2, uh, because Wide Tom 1 revealed that uh, we had some rocket design issues, obviously. Uh, and that's fine. Um, so what we need to do next is then just have that... And then we'll just have that. All right, so yeah, we'll figure it out after that one. That'll be fine. So yeah, we're gonna go up again. Um, and you know what? We're gonna add some fireworks for space. I think fireworks for space would be pretty cool. And I think we need fireworks for space, okay? Thank you. We're gonna have fireworks for space. Here we go, look at that. Fireworks for space. Okay, so up, go, yeah. All right, don't worry about it. We're all the way up in space. Now, don't worry about uh, space so much because I have space handled. Um, I'm not afraid of space. That's the first thing you have to be is not afraid of space. You have to go, yeah, it's, it's big and scary, but life is also um, big and unknown and scary. So you don't have to, you don't have to be afraid of space. Now, breathing in space, yeah. I'd be afraid of that. All right. Now, some of these engines are going to fire off at different points. I don't care. This is still pretty cool. What a nice rocket. All right, so a little bit of a pitch problem. All right, and all right, got to kick these off here, and it, yeah, get off. All right, find your way home. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's cool. That's not good. All right, that's good. Those, those are paving the way for me. They're having fun up there. Let's not acknowledge that ever again. Look, they're having fun. They're having their best life. I just get in the way. I just get in the way. And oh, wow, all right. You know, it's 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 those things where you just gotta let them go if they want to have fun. And I'm afraid Joel would have to know who the fuck I am. I'm kind of a niche guy. I'm not I'm not that well known. I can walk into a game store that's playing Battletech and I'd say 
five out of ten times, people are gonna go, what? Who are you? It's quite nice, actually. Alright. So we're not going to space the direction we thought we were. But I think we're going to space. We have to embrace oops. And I'm afraid no flat curbin protesters at the launch pad. Uh, you know. There, there's, there's a lot of protesters about what happened to the rest of the planets not on the launch pad. Um, okay, check this out. We're gonna just gently, gently, we're gonna gently, just very gently pull away from space in a direction. Not a great direction, but we're gonna go. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is just keep going. And yeah, I've decided to fight the sun today. We're just going to have a good time. There we go. They said I shouldn't design rockets. They said they'd kill people. Who's laughing now? I should pull, adjust that orbit a little bit. I say right about there. Yeah, let's just give it some. Yeah, a little bit of wobble, you know. Just adjust that head and some. All right. Yeah. 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 Aiming for that horizon. Just giving a little bit of shift there. I, I know the autopilot doesn't like it, but I don't care. Do what I say. There we go. Just gotta fight it a little, you know? Give it a little slap. Alright. Alright, so we've achieved almost orbit. Yeah, the sun is fucking minging. Oh, that kid. All right, check this out. Fireworks in space. Isn't that cool? I'm doing it for the taxpayers. Oh, fuck yeah. Actually, check this out. Here's why I was dangerous in Diablo 2. <laughs> yeah, the game can't handle it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the game's... Give it a second. G give it a second. Give it a second. It's got to catch up to that. Give it a second. Yeah, yeah, it's got to think about it. That was a lot of clicking real quick. It doesn't like that so much. See, that's pretty awesome. Alright, cool. Now it's auto-saving now that my frames are back. Alright. So we're just going to float around here in our cool space rocket. We're going to warp here. Here we go. And... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. God, I wish I had an auto clicker. Back in the day, I knew people had controllers with that shit. Fucking cheating. All right. Now. We're gonna go a little further. We're gonna go a little further today for Kerbal Kind. We're gonna go further and upper than ever before. Oh, man. Here we go. Look. 
get this. We're going to space, boys. We're going to actual deep space. Ooh. We're going up. Now, we're going to wait until we go around here, obviously, because this is pretty cool. And then we're just going to hear two days later. No, not even two days later. God. Hour three. We're hauling ass. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open this shit. Yeah, got to get some of that deep space science. Got to scoop it up. Not much out here. Got to get the dump truck further out. Got to get it to the moon. Crew report. Yep. Mm -hmm. And let's get some EVA. All right. There we are. And let's get that EVA report and make sure we don't remove the helmet because I fooled me once, right? Now let's see if we can go home. That's a good cause. If not, I'll just get another rocket. And I don't mean to get him. I just mean another rocket. I will not get him. All right, that's close enough. All right, here we go. And we're getting real close to the planet here. That's not good. All right, so what we're going to do is now that we're moving at 2,600 meters a second, we're going to just bleed off of some of these. Oh, Jeb's coming home. He's coming home. He don't know it yet. Come on, engine. Let's hope the 85 heat shields are good. Please, 85 heat shields. All right. Please go find friends elsewhere. I wish no ill upon you, Engine. I did not kung fu you away. Please don't come back from the dark and kill me. Just a little engine braking. Yeah, don't worry about it. These are not good rockets. <laughs> These are rockets instead. All right, and yep, all right. 2,400 meters a second. See, people are going, why do you have three heat shields? Because I'm a moron. That's why. If you were hoping for a competent Kerbal playthrough, I would not recommend watching this. Alright, yep. Can't get through my battleship plate. Can't get through my battleship plate. Jebediah's in there shaking like a shook dog, but can't get through my, my armor. Yeah, here we go. Let's make a yard of heat shield and uh, easy peasy. See? All we gotta do is fly. It's the secret. The secret sauce is just flying like uh, you're not afraid of space. You can't you can't realize space is as big as it is because it'll sneak up on you. It'll just uh, you know it'll just come up and grab you. That's, that's what space does. Um, space is like that. So we're just going to sit here and just going to come on in and just land for a minute. No big deal. And sploosh. All right, let's recover this son of a bitch. And you know what we need to do is let's let's really offend some people and build some airplanes, shall we? Let's let's see if we can make the worst ideas of my addled brain into something that translates to the majesty of flight. 
And I'm going to tell you this much. I've got some great ideas. So we're going to take that 27 whole science we got. Aviation. Ah, we don't have enough yet. Man, they just keep finding parts of things all over the place. Somebody's got to clean that up, you know? And somebody's got to clean that up. That is just that is just outrageous. People throwing shit on our lawn. It just don't worry about it. I don't have the parts to make planes yet, so I need to work on that a minute. All right, so Wide Tom 2 is not a great rocket, even though it has laser guns, and that's great. And I realize the problem that Wide Tom 2 has is, unfortunately, the uh, lack of giant fucking engines. So that's what we're going to be doing next, is just Wide Tomming the shit out of this... Wait a second, why am I doing that? Oh yeah, because I'm dumb. What I'm gonna do also is add one more. One more Skyans. There we go. There you go. So we're gonna do a very boring rocket here just to grab a bunch of science. Very quickly. Very quickly science kit. Because I just want to go up and be like, ah, science, and then leave. Don't worry, we need it for airplanes. That's where the real juice is. So we're going to do uh, the rule of three, which is three is a good number. And for most things, you know, for most things. So there, rule of three, yeah, we're, we're going to call this uh, the uh, trongle. Exactly. Trongle. We're just gonna we're just gonna trongle some uh, some plane stuff. Trongle is a simple rocket. It was designed to be pretty neat, and uh, you know, really nice. Exactly that much. All right, so this all is fine and whatever. Yeah. All right, let's. Let's do this, plus a uh, last-minute uh, fuel stage. And there we go. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, good. Trongle. Simple rocket trongle. We're just going to go up. Trongle, go up. And particles offend me. Most things offend me. I'm a very fragile person. That's why I've decided to declare war on the gravity and the sun and a few other things. I mean, eh, you know. So we're mm, eh, up, right? That's what we know how to do. Oh, that was something else that blew up. Don't worry. Those might be raining back down. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm only slightly worried about it. You know, I have a terrible idea for Trongle 2 if this doesn't work. And it's going to be a lot, a lot worse in every way. And I mean that. I mean, I'm kind of worried here. All right, what we're gonna do is just mambo up and hope the rocket don't flip on us. And the unrelated explosions, I agree. I mean, let's, there could be a hundred, there could be a hundred reasons for those explosions. There could be a hundred reasons, not related to my rockets. Like, that's something else, that could be birds, you don't know. When's the last time you saw a bird up close, huh? Oh god, it plays the Enterprise thing. It could be a long Yeah, no. That was the weirdest theme of the whole series. Like, the rest are just, you know, either really, really good. Um, Voyager's a great theme, DS9's a great theme. You know, TNG's a great theme, TOS, great theme. All themes of their era. And then Enterprise is just like... What what is this? All right, so that one's getting unsheathed. All right, and then we're gonna just do this here, 
and we're just gonna adjust a little bit and just yeah all right leaving you behind yeah birds aren't real look at how far we're going wow we're making it almost nowhere so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our science here and do some material study in space that's worth 37 science that's enough to build any number of airplanes that will offend everyone and i mean everyone i mean even the people who think that you know crimson skies is real aircraft engineering i mean that that level it will offend those people so we're gonna come on in sideways or something it's just gonna go fly somewhere else and yeah, I mean, I'm going to let the ocean do what it does. The ocean recycles everything. Ships and stuff. And we're going to do some science on the ground here. It's going to be great. And I'm going to... Oh, yep, yeah, a little bit of fire there. A little bit of fire. Mike and I have discussed it. Um, we're not sure where we'd put it. We're not, we're not sure where we'd put it, but uh, we've discussed doing a... Uh, don't worry about whatever that was. That was something else. That's not, that's not important. I just gotta move this rocket for no reason in various quickly ways, swiftly, as it... Uh, don't worry. That was just some things. Unrelated to what's going on right now. And uh, I think we're going to die. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe we will perish. Yes. Yes, we will. Goddamn. All right, Kerbal Count. Can I get a Kerbal Count so far? Can I Can I get a Kerbal Count? Because that didn't work, so obviously I'm not doing it cool enough. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, that was that was not great. That was not a great, uh, great moment there. It's okay. I got some ideas. All right, here we go. Don't don't worry about the Kerbals. They can't feel anything. That's why they work here. Don't worry about them. They love it. Is that even strange? Yeah, all right. Okay, good enough. All right, that's the upper stage. Good. Nope. Whoop. Ah, yeah, you'll need those. Yes, you will. See, the secret is not using enough fucking engines. That's what I learned. Ah, one F equals one prayer? Heaven forbid what I would ask an upvote for. Anyways, we're gonna trongle this a little further here. You know? That's lined up, isn't it? Is is it? Yeah, I mean, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. All right, this is going to be the first booster stage. And it helps Trongle get off the ground. Being what it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 mm. Trongle 2. Uh, yes. The good one? Uh, I don't know. There we go. And then one of those. Look at that, huh? That's science. That's what science looks like. Don't look away. Don't you look away. Especially if you're a Patreon person. You paid for this. You watch it. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. Don't, don't play coy. Don't you dare. 
This is what you're funding. This is what special projects looks like. All right. Yeah, nah, all right. Here we go. All right, so let's let's see what this one does. I think that this one has some power to it. I think this one's got some juice. I think this one's got some some verve, some panache. It's got something. All right. Okay. Hey, look, it's got a little bit of bounce like a mattress. Nice. That's exactly what you want. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, that's just to warm it up, of course. All right, here we go. That's not great. That's not good at all. Yeah, we got to do that ripcord start. So far, so okay. It's got some moxie. What a fine rocket. All right, let's kick these off. Let's kick these off. Let's have a little ink. All right. Got to arrest our decline there as we haul all this kerosene to orbit. Don't worry about that. Turn them all on? All right, you know what? Fine, revert flight to launch, fine. Let's do what Mike wants. Mike, okay. Let's let's do this. Hey, do, do you guys want some... I mean, if you want it cranked, we can crank this son of a bitch. But it's... Mm, frame rates, you know? I'm letting you know. All right, let's do it. Uh, everything at once. Uh, except for that last stage. That last stage, no. All right, yeah, okay. Let's head shoulders, knees, and toes. Everything good. Uh, all right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Tell me that doesn't look cool. That is cool. Full trongle. That's not even lined up with a cockpit. You can see. That's bad. Stand by for detach. Stand by for yeet procedure. Yeet procedure. Yeet procedure. Stand by. Stand by. Yeet procedure. Yeet procedure is go. Yeet is go. Stand by. Here we go. Oh man. There's a lot of up go, boys. Space is mad at us. The trungle. Oh, yeah, space is mad. Successful translation of space anger despite this not even being lined up. Oof. All right. We leave and we turn right. We're just going to turn right and we're going to hold it right about here. Just a sharp turn right toward the horizon. Looks like we are a go for orbit. going we're going look at this look at this and yeah I know I could 
Not fire until I hit apoapsis, but this feels good. All right, fine. We'll warp here. See if we can't do a flyby of Mun on the way home. I think that would be very nice. Let's prograde that orbit a little bit. And we'll just add a little bit of juice. Another successful, adequate thing for the Beeple Space Program. All right, stand by for a final stage. Eh. All right. Let's see if we intersect anything on the way through. Oh, that was close. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Well done, us. Oh, here comes the Mun. All right, we're gonna slow down and get some science adjacent to the Mun. Fuck yeah. probably gonna say no this isn't even any new science and I'm like you son of a bitch all right so that's fine we'll just close this and we'll be sad and we'll retrograde our orbit a little bit just a little bit so we get scooped up by the atmosphere on the way back all right here we go oh all right there and we're gonna get there and we're just gonna warp here all right and uh, hopefully not bounce off the atmosphere. Now we're coming in a little hot, but not incredibly hot. Now let's just burn our ass here a little bit. All right, and kick off. All right, bye. Now let's just hope this son of a bitch lines up. All right, come on. We'll be all right, maybe. Come on, gyros. Come on, gyros. Come on, gyros. Okay, 2800. Yeah, kissing 2900. It's gonna be a bit sharp, you know? Okay, almost 3000 meters a second. This is what we like to call a very hot re-entry. However, there will be a lot of water for when we get there, so don't worry. That orbit is still cooking up. This is like a really bad train ride now. Now, notice how the music stopped. That's because the killing is about to start. Okay, so 3,000 meters a second is very, very fast. And now that number is going to start going down. Soon. Maybe. So there goes one of the heat shields. One heat shield is just being uh, cigaretted away. Okay, we're starting to get some collision. I'm starting to rotate. Okay, there goes the science compartment. And here goes the rest of it. Excellent. Well done, us. So that was indeed a bit steep. Well, we learned a lesson. And that is, Kerbals are not fireproof. Kerbal count, please. Let's revert to, uh... What was I gonna do? What other idea? Oh, highest altitude achieved. Well done, us. Let's revert to launch. I feel one more launch. I think I can do one more really... Really good launch. The secret is more speed. So what I have to do is I have to get this one working there and I have to get this one working there and I have to get this one working there and I have to get this one working there and then I leave the last one for personal use only. And we'll just go out in one last bang, I think. Here we go.
All we gotta do is go up, boys. All right. There's Mock. Passing Mock. She's starting to cook now. Hot dogs away. Ah, uh, she's getting bright. So I think we just entered the hypersonic weapons program. It's not liking it all that much. We must bully the air. All right, we're speeding up. Space angry. Passing 2,000 meters a second. Passing 2,500 soon. All right, we got what we wanted. Good work. Bye. All right, so now that we're all the way out here, I guess. That's gotta be a Steve re entry. All right, let's go ahead and warp here and see what happens. <laughs> All you gotta do is go up and be angry in space, and then you can make it. Don't worry about it. So, we're gonna... Conduct some science. Yep, science is in space. Well done, us. Well done. I'm just gonna retrograde here. And we're gonna wait till the space gets a little closer. And we're gonna slow it down. Just a little bit. But not all the way. Because I have 520 meters a second of Delta V. And I am going to use it. I'm going to use it gently as I come on in for a landing. I think we earned a few things. You know, I mean... Yeah, peak speed of Mach 7.6 on Ascent. I think that's a good rocket. Maybe not for exploration, but for noise and badassness. What a rocket. Oh, there's a lot of science in space. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's just, let's, let's just let this go. Let him do what he does. Somewhere else. He can... Oh shit, all right, so we're coming in, a little warm, a little warm. It's gonna be uh, pretty hot up there. However, we have 60,000 meters to burn off all the speed known to man, and we're not coming in at 3,000 this time, so it's technically not as bad. Not as bad. This is still very bad. And there's the science department is okay. Now that's gonna and we're going to yeah, all right. So we learn something. We learn something. And that is bad rockets are designed by me. So let's do let's do one last rocket, I think. I think I got one more rocket in me for a Tuesday stream. And thank you guys for tuning in. Um in an era where everybody's trying to get you to buy stuff. It's nice to just be able to make stuff you like. It's rare, so I appreciate it. It's it's like scary rare, so thank you. Oh shit! All right, that's the. Yeah. All right, so I think I may have solved our problem here. Don't worry about it. No. It's a little squirrely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It don't like it much. Hold on. There we go. Just a little squirrely. Unfortunately, no data. It just explodes, which is bullshit, because that black box is a lot stronger than his head, I guarantee it. 
It's it's way it's way weird. So here's here's what I'm thinking. What am I doing? I'm fucking stupid. The solution was always there. Guys. 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 Why wouldn't we double decker this? I mean, come, it, half it, more? Come on. Come on. This writes itself. Yeah. Why'd you have flat? Uh, space. Jib flat space. So what we're gonna do is very simple. We're just gonna do another layer of fun. You know, that's what it's about. It's about just fun with your friends. And stuff like that. So we're just gonna have some of that. And we're gonna have some of that. And we're gonna have some of that. And then that'll kick off there and whatever. Alright, so... This... Is gonna be okay no is this the bigger engine thrust more thrust less more thrust need bigger engineer all right so which one more thrust uh, 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 ah this one all right so we're gonna use big boy we're gonna put big boy in there more well, think about it. You, double decker space program. How many people just took your favorite thing and added a double decker to it? Like, if you win, okay, let's let's be honest. Some some things would not work well. Double decker. Like, if someone was like, "Do you want a sandwich?" and you're like, "I'll have eight, eight layers. It's too many." Double decker rocket. Double decker bus. Acceptable. Acceptable interesting so we're gonna have a whole boat boost layer that's gonna make the rocket go up faster that's that's it that's it it's it's just gonna be a boost layer the rocket go up faster and that's what it do yeah all right let's let's try triangle three and uh we're gonna go up go far -er. now a double decker grilled cheese would be fine but the problem is that middle layer of grilled cheese is is not going to be good you're going to need to make two grilled cheeses and then glue the middle together with a different cheese that's going to be hard all right so i can hear mike laughing in the background but i mean double decker battleship mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. so this is officially the dumbest thing i've made today here we go. I like how it has a jiggle. It just... That's good. Look how nice it is. Very nice rocket. And now the real triangle shows its real form. See? All we had to do is put triangle on a triangle and we don't have enough thrust. Shit. All right. Well, we need to get out of the atmosphere. Though we may slow down a little bit. And yeah, there is a Discord invite, but it's on the WBPL broadcast, typically. Though occasionally the link is provided here. And here we go. We're just gonna keep going up very slow, like an elevator.
Trongle power is great. Actually, I have a better idea. Hold on. Revert flight to launch. I have an even better idea. I have a better idea. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's going to be good. All right. Don't worry about those things falling down. That's nothing to do with anything. All right. Good. And we'll just... Yeah, all right, that should do. That should do. That should do just fine. Uh, it should do just fine. And then, uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, that's got a jiggle. Jesus. Well, Sinog, the shuttle hasn't been around in a while. We retired it, it's old. Super Tronco. Don't you worry about my staging. Let me worry about my staging. Says man who sweats in staging. Uh, Alright, let's blow all these up. And then those. And then that. Good. Yeah, we're doing good. All we got to do is up. All you got to do is not like the ground, and you can fly as high as you want. It's fine. Just turbo triangle, just up. All we gotta do is leave space. Forever. Why is it flying soundly? I don't know. It's a bunch of scaffolding held together with bullshit. I couldn't tell you. What I can tell you is to turn right. Turn right. That's all we're gonna do is turn right. That's all we're gonna do is have a right, right there. Yeah, just gonna turn right. Turn right to go to the moon. Yep, there we go. Peel that off. Peel that off and uh, moon. All right, so let's just burn for a little bit more orbit even though we're already falling. Don't worry, this orbit's gonna suck. If there is one. We must go up more. We're going up. We ain't got time for smart ideas and stuff. 69,000 is a good periapsis, though. Where's my burning mass? There it is. All right. Just a little bit more up, I think, as we skip back in. As we skip back in like dum-dums. I think we're crashing. Maybe. We're, we're pushing that periapsis up, but, ooh, the apiapsis, sorry. But you know what I mean. We're pushing that point up. But barely. Rocket too heavy. Jeb will be flat soon. How are we doing this? We're just pushing this along. Like, eh, I don't wanna. We're going. And ready for punch off. And See, I saved a whole stage I told nobody about. Because I'm sneaky. Yeah, flat Jeb theory comes from my space program. All right, let's warp here and then just keep hitting the gas. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro grade. Give it some more juice. Yeah, we're just gonna go around the moon a bit. Maybe. See, it's a reasonable, reasonable orbit. Kind of. For the most part. Oh, hey, we made it. The chat bots are here. Thank you, porn bots. Thank you for letting me know that I've made it. That's how you know the stream is real. How different would the Fury be if he was just Jeb? Implying he's not. I mean, that's all he can say. I don't understand that whole unit. I don't get it. Like, I don't know what the purpose of the military unit was other than just weird. Like, as a doctrine, you know? Like, as a real weird doctrine. So we're going to get right around the moon. And it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic as we do, like, a drive-by on the moon. How cool is that? Okay, so remember that moon drive-by? It looks like we're going to actually intersect the moon, which is not so great. But... There is an opportunity here. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think, I think this could be interesting. All right, so I'm going to get some science at least. Oh, man. All right, so there they are down there, and that's the moon. Now, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm just wondering, just curious. I mean, I don't have any landing stuff. Oh shit, 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 shit. All right, let's, let's see, 700 and something, yeah. All right, we got that. I'm just going to say this, man. If we pull this off, we're pretty cool. If we pull this off. If we kamikaze the moon, we'll clap anyways, right? But this is a one-way trip, and I'm watching my Delta V here. Because this is now a question of weight. I'm gonna eyeball this shit, no calculations. We're gonna eyeball the moon on an accidental moon intercept. Don't worry. We'll be all right. Or we won't, it'll be fucking awesome. Either way, Jeb's staying here. All right, all right, all right, here we go. that throttle down to just barely open as we come on in all right I'm watching the altimeter here and I realize our rate of descent is I'm trying to watch that meter there I'm a terrible pilot in War Thunder I try to fly from the cockpit all the time and just blow things up but I think this is a good point to end the stream really once we land or don't well we're gonna land either way what I'm gonna say though is thank you guys for all tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you want to vote, you can, but don't worry. I'll get by. Thank you guys for actually checking in because, you know, notifications don't work. And thank you guys for giving a shit. I appreciate it. I do. Now let's see if we can splatter this fucker in something. Let's do this. Oh yeah, good point. Sea level, not... Mountain. Good call. All right, Jeb. Eyeballing the moon, buddy. Let's just back this bitch in here. It's not that hard. I think we can do this. It's not the dumbest thing I've seen. Come on. 
Come on. Got the throttle open to like dropping a pee out at a time. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, engine's off. We're gonna drift in a little bit. Okay, everybody calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Stand by. This is gonna get really hairy. Okay, 22,000 meters into the moon. I have 791 meters a second left of delta V. Don't tell me the odds. Let's just see what we can do. Let's come on down, and uh, there we go. Oh, 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 let the game catch up. There we go. All right. And away. 8,000 meters. All right. Stand by. 7,000 meters. Sixty, eight hundred meters. Six thousand meters. And stand by for Mark. Mark, six thousand meters. Rate of descent, eighty meters a second. Here we go. Forty nine, forty eight. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37. There's the engines impacting. 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. Standby burn. Coming up on power. All right. Backing off. Backing off. 25. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Very gentle, very gentle. Lots of little rocks down there. I thought I'd spit on my screen playing War Thunder. Those are actual boulders. I, I had thought, I was like, God, my screen is really gross. Jesus Christ. All right, so here we go. You ever have those moments where you're like, I'm a filthy bastard. All right, oh yeah, close that door. <laughs> All right, just give it a second. I went a little hard on the engine there. Okay, we're going to the moon. <laughs> we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon, boys. Here we go. Everybody hold your breath. Everybody hold your breath. This is the dumbest thing we're doing today. Jebediah Kerman has no idea what's going on. Now, between this stream and next stream, which is next Tuesday, tell your friends. But next stream, what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna play Terra Invicta. Between now and then, I'm gonna figure out how to play it. All right, so here we go. Okay, the game's stuttering a little bit. It doesn't like that we're doing this. Don't worry. <sighs> okay, 370 meters, hold on. I've got, oh God. Okay. Okay, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. All right. All right. I'm just stepping on the gas. I can't deal with the porn bots. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody just very gentle here. Okay, kill. Oh, that was wrong. That was too much. That was way too much. That was way too much. That was the wrong button. Okay, we're going to go up and then come back down very quickly. That was too much. That was a little bit oof. All right. That's fine. It burns off some juice. It's okay. It burns off just a little bit of power juice. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. That can happen. That can happen. We're going to come back down here shortly. We're just going to hold it. We're just going to hold it steady. It's going to, it's, we're just going to hold it steady. It'll come back down. I didn't give it too much too quick. It'll just, it'll, it'll, see? Already starting to pull. All right. And that's fine. That's fine. We're going to land. All right, so here we go.
It's just a little poo your pants moment, Mike. It happens. It's just a little, sometimes you gas, hit the gas, you know, and it's just too much. And you're like, oh no, I hit the gas. Don't worry. It's just a little bit of problem. Yeah, I had some fuel. All right, here we go. Just gonna gently rock this in. Okay. A little, little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. All right, little. Oh. Gentle. Gentle. Gentle, 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 gentle. Okay, we're on a slope. Not good. Okay. All right. Here we go. Nice and gentle. All right. I'm going to roll it. There we go. Right there. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'll just everyone shh. We're just going to slide a little bit. Just don't worry. Don't worry. We're just we're just going to slide down this hill here. I'll slow us down so we don't blow up. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Don't say we made it yet. Don't we made it yet. Don't say that. Okay. Now, as we know, the moon is very slick very very slick the moon is as you know an extremely slick surface <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh we're just uh, gonna sit here and um all right ladies and gentlemen we have landed on the moon all right that's one giant leap for rockets gonna crush us and one giant walk away before it does so and put that on the shirt so here we go yeah all right well uh, that figures out what it's doing i'm gonna just go ahead and you know uh be a hero we're gonna plant a flag here we go we're just gonna go ahead and do this we're heroes right and we're gonna say uh yeah Holy shit, we landed. Uh, yeah. This stream was pretty good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Goods? Yeah, guys. I can type. There we go. It's all about the little things, really. But in a strange roundabout way, I uh, kind of recreated the intro of Kerbal Space Program. A rocket on its side on the moon and a weird flag and a story about how it got there. So in much the same way, I'm kind of the same channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you next time.